in one minute I felt stirred in my heart the one thing you want God to do for you I know you wrote a lot of things here but I'm releasing my faith with you the one thing there may be many things but there might be one thing you are crying and saying Lord visit me you are the only one who knows whether you are outside in the next two minutes please I want you to pray I'm releasing my faith with you and you will watch the God of wonder surprise you you go shake away unbelief and go ahead and pray impossible situations don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered ask for something that you know the answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny go ahead and pray I release my faith as one sent I release my faith by the spirit of grace go ahead and pray remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will this is why we pray with confidence for the Bible says this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will we know that he hears us please go ahead and pray receive manifest receive manifest receive manifest receive keep praying manifest receive manifest receive manifest his power his wisdom his power his wisdom Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Lord, we receive answers outside, inside, across the nations of the earth. We receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the Living God. Answers of wisdom, answers of favor, answers of restoration, answers of speed, answers of establishment, answers of fruitfulness, answers of breakthroughs, answers of higher realms, answers of superior dimensions, answers of open doors, answers of open gates, answers of open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia hear me in the name of Jesus for the remaining months of this year may my God who is also your God do a speedy walk in your life do a speedy walk in your life a speedy walk in your career a speedy walk in this nation a speedy walk in your family in the name of Jesus Christ I pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ I tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it I pray for you all the time and I release many graces but let me just do one I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you I am a beneficiary of this grace I know what it can do therefore I pray for you my dear 
hear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being closed that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports i see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact i stand and i call upon the god who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh i decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of jesus christ where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of jesus christ hear me koinonia any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a god of vengeance may he arise for you as a god of vengeance in the name of jesus christ my Bible says, now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ. I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized, but to be rewarded to match your true worth. I want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded, but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually, spiritually, and otherwise. In the name of Jesus, may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of disfavor. When Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again there was a compensation system for jacob it was jacob that gave birth to joseph and one joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever became a prime minister in egypt and reigned preserved god's people till he died i'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you <laughs> mama look at me i want to pray for you i'm not a prophet of doom but i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you inside a coffin and the lord is saying to bring you out of there i use mama as a point of contact anyone who has been buried in the spirit that is only a matter of time believe me i know what i'm seeing that makes me say what i'm saying in the name of jesus anyone who has been buried in the spirit i declare come out of that demonic coffin now come out of that demonic coffin now help my mother 
I stretch my hands, Mama. In the name that is above all names, you will not die. Hence, God has brought you here tonight. We forbid you from untimely death. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord. Song. says breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe breathe upon my life now listen I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified, say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Say, exalted, 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 exalted. Is a prayer. Will you breathe, Lord? Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus, lift it up, glorify. Your power, 
nations See Jesus lifted up Exalted Breathe Lord, breathe Breathe Lord, breathe Breathe upon my life That's your prayer now Breathe Lord, breathe Breathe Lord, breathe Shema Salia Barada Sing breathe Lord Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, one last time now. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. You're exalted, exalted, lifted up, exalted, 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 exalted. Now I stretch my hand. In the name that is above all names, there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now. I decree and declare, I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly. Father, you gave me this song by the Spirit and you said upon singing it, the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies. Therefore, I stretch my hands at the count of three. May this fountain break open. One. Now, take that grace now. Bring them out. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Breathe, Lord.
lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations bring them out, see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations. See Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe upon my heart. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down, I want you to bring them out. As God breathes right now, some of you, a physical wind will blow towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every ordinance of darkness must give way now. Satan, by the breath of the Spirit, let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Bring them out. Shalakatos, ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women. Women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now! Be released now! Be released now! Be released now! Belama Shabakas Kobarakosiata, Egra Kapaskalika Parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Exalted, 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 lift it up, lift it up, we lift you up, exalted, 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 exalted. The Lord is about to break upon those trusting God for employment. I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors. Right now I stretch my hands. Let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three.
glory father where are they men and women who must testify of your mighty hand may that grace rest upon you now 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 receive manifest his wisdom his power receive manifest his wisdom his power receive manifest his power his wisdom to the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus who is Gabriel I'm hearing the name Gabriel please I want you to be sensitive God is doing a quick walk is there someone called Gabriel very quickly I want to speak to you and then I'm hearing the name Hosea who is Hosea H-O-S-E-A I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front there is an impartation that is happening who is Hosea your name is Hosea where are you coming from my name is Gabriel sir Gabriel who is Hosea I'm hearing a name Hosea the Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea father in the name of Jesus I am praying is that the, that's the name of your baby Gabriel I will pray for you father I stretch my hands I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you this is not to these guys I'm here I don't know what was taken from you but the Lord is saying I should prophesy therefore I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing it returns now 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 Hosea I stretch my hands every demonic thing that has tied your family I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea and the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in circles it will come then it will stay the help them please then it will come back again I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ let it leave the family of Hosea now let it leave the family of Hosea now That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus for that lawyer captivity comes to an end now the Lord is asking me to re, to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families is a pattern of cancer all the people go ahead of you right now there are currently people who have cancer everybody's like a string that's what kills people in the family I don't know who belongs to such a family but here at this miracle service the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer it dies right now it dies right now it dies right now hallelujah you're going to sing this song two times just the brief part you just do what I'm asking you to do at the end of this the second time when you sing it please hear me I'm going to pray for the sick we we'll work with time but at the second time the moment you sing it I'm hearing the cry of babies listen and 
the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness. People that have been trusting God for children for a long time. I want you to know that this is your prophetic word. It's not a song. It's not a song. Are you ready now? Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Say. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord. trusting God for the fruit of the womb lay your hands whether for you or for someone you can stand for someone you are a man you can stand for your wife I want to make this declaration God does not lie in the name of Jesus the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft my God I'm just seeing fire burning things that look like threads in the name of Jesus Christ at the instruction of the spirit I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe all those trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus Christ receive your miracle children receive your miracle children receive your miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now is an impartation of the grace for teaching a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace this is not for everybody I don't know why God will interrupt the thing like this but I stretch my hands the grace of a teacher may that grace rest upon you right now the grace of a teacher may that anointing mantle you wherever you are you are a man of God here, I decree and declare the capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer even praying in the spirit when we begin to pray in the spirit you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish you are giving the holy spirit room to search the mind of the father and he will bring to you this is how this song came this is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the spirit i want to declare there is a baptism that god wants to do now is a baptism of fire that will help men pray until they receive wisdom in the place of prayer father i don't know where they are but from the north to the south east to the west all over this auditorium there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the spirit the grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? We're going to take a few minutes and please give your destiny an undivided attention as you pray do not allow the devil distract you forget about whatever bills whatever issues and let us join in prayer the fervent effectual prayer there is such a description to prayer as fervent and effectual of the righteous man availed much are you ready to pray please open your mouth and begin to pray Whatever position you find comfortable, just make sure you pray. Just make sure you pray. 
Shalima Rasko Branda Katapratike de Belekatosia. Shapakato Sata Brandege de Balakosia Tabalandasia. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Mante Caparatas Catebrata Calecatosia Tabahashia. Zapras Cateras Catabalanta Barantesca de Baliata. Ye have not because ye ask not. Ye have not because ye ask not. Alanda Salakata Preska de la Caparias, Ebreca de Belacatos, Conti Branda Sharakata Balacatos. Pray, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue and defieth himself, and defieth himself. Shana Makata Paratas Catabrenda Gebaratosiata, Ebracosh Catilla Parianda Preske de Balasia Dabacatos. Shimanaka Leke pros, leke te brandos koto brate koshige de belegedam. Shibenia shabarata kata branda kata balaka tosia. Imbreke te parus kati laka parus yete gede belegedos. Shana meleke te brandos kata branda kata baroka te shakete. Imbreke te skoto brandos kote leke te branda kata balaka tosia. Shemanda kata prosko to balika prada da kapalia da balagatos. Shade baka paratos kati bande prada gade belakatos. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen carefully, please. We are praying now. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, Jesus was teaching and he made a very profound statement. He called Satan the thief. He says, The thief cometh not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Are we together? So he reveals to us that Satan can steal, Satan can kill, and Satan can destroy. Now let me connect it to a mystery and then we'll pray. In Matthew chapter 21, please, give us verse 13. Matthew 21 and verse 13. This was when Jesus came into the temple. When he came into the temple, the Bible says he met people doing business within the temple is that true they were exchanging in the temple and he was angry and the bible says he began to whip them there were a few people there called money changers their job was to exchange you would bring something and they would exchange all that was happening in the temple so when jesus came he threw everything down and he made a statement that will be our prayer point now he said my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves listen carefully do you know what he's saying he's saying at every point his house is one of two things either a house of prayer or a place where thieves are carrying out exchanges and that house is you you that temple of the holy ghost he said at every point in your life you are either a house of prayer or there are exchanges going through in your life my house 
shall be called a house a temple of prayer failure to be a temple of prayer it was lack of prayer in the temple that gave access for exchangers exchangers of destiny exchangers of all kinds of things is someone ready to pray i'd like you to pray and find that house back to a place of prayer my house this temple is a house of prayer that means the ministry of the thief should not find expression in my house the ministry of sickness and infirmity should not find expression in me because this house is a house of prayer pray pray let it be from the depth of your heart my house shall be called a house of prayer satan you have no authority to steal from this house to kill from this house to destroy this house because it is a house of prayer hallelujah hallelujah listen i want you to believe in this prayer that you are praying you are not wasting your time something is happening to you acts chapter 28 acts chapter 28 in jesus name now please listen let me establish another prayer point in acts chapter 28 when you read from verse 1 and down to 6 the bible says when paul had escaped the storm remember an angel appeared to him and he told them there shall be no loss and the bible says they went safely and arrived at an island called melita now verse 2 28 verse 2 the bible says when the locals he calls them the barbarians the people showed them kindness watch this now paul was about to reveal something that the people did not have the discernment to see the bible says there was a viper hiding in the wood a viper a venomous snake that could it it could it could bite you and even kill you how did it hide that those who brought down the wood did not see it and they put everything together and while they sat down there as soon as the wood was on fire the viper that was hiding there suddenly became exposed if fire was not there the viper will still hide in the wood and you will not know that you are living with an enemy but as soon as fire was lit the fire exposed the viper listen can i tell you i know this about the prayer ministry there are things that you may never understand occurrences and happenings of demon spirits it takes generating energy in the spirit and suddenly you will begin to see that the things you could not understand are now making sense why, why, why am i receiving all these assaults from the place of work what is this when my promotion is coming in the place of prayer fire can expose the viper fire can expose the viper lift your voice and pray pray with this understanding that everything that attempts to impede the purposes of God in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost the fire that comes in this prayer the fire expose the viper the fire expose the cause of your pain 
the fire expose the cause of the delays the fire expose the cause of the disfavor the fire expose the cause of the antagonisms Shada Beketos, Embra Teke Patos Koto Preteke Liata, Embri Kete Prosko Soto Bereketi Alabakatos. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Shabra Katos Koto Pretekata. Lekata praskete shakata berekotos Embreketos Eka shakete beretos keniata kasa Hallelujah In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus is God helping us Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43 Jesus taught us a very deep mystery Jesus was teaching on the activity of spirits and he said when an unclean spirit listen carefully is gone out of a man that it walked through dry places seeking rest and finding none next verse the bible says then it will say i will return to what the man is free but as far as the spirit is concerned it is his house and he says i will return to my house from whence i came out and when he is come he will find it empty he will find it swept he will find it garnished last verse the bible says he goeth and take it with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they will enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than let me explain something to you listen it takes a man anointed by God with spiritual understanding to cast out a demon out of another do we agree on that and then the Bible tells us something serious that that spirit goes to the desert and when it goes to the desert where there is no man to cast it by itself there is a condition in the desert that makes that spirit uncomfortable and it will prefer to come back and fight with that man a desert is a place of extreme heat and that when that spirit goes to that place in the presence of that extreme heat the spirit by itself with no one to cast it becomes uncomfortable that means when your body becomes like that desert when your life becomes like that desert that the spirit becomes uncomfortable because the desert is a place of heat the bible says he maketh his ministers his angels Can I tell you this? Listen, you don't know how cheap Satan is until you pray. Satan is as powerful as your prayerlessness makes him become. That a spirit in a human body will require a man anointed by the Holy Ghost to get it out. But it goes to a desert where there's no preacher, no keyboard, no drums, no choir, no protocol. The heat in the desert will cast it back and it will come to stay in someone else. That means when you become in the similitude of the heat of that desert, your life and everything around you becomes a no-go zone for any operation of demon spirits is someone ready to pray you are praying with this understanding that i am praying to become in experience a flame of fire lift your voice and pray a flame of fire a flame of fire 
a flame of fire Saneka paroto soto koto mariata a flame of fire a flame of fire Don't be tired. Make sure you're praying. He pratos koto prakete pratos kate prende katele kotusia. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Very powerful scripture. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Is it projected? Can you see it? Can we read it together? One, two, read. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Hold on. Wherefore, your favor would have arrived since. Wherefore, your lifting. Wherefore, your destiny helper would have arrived he said i tried once and again but satan listen i understand this scripture very very well let me tell you a story and then we'll pray sir i don't know how many years now i was praying one night true story and then my my ceiling suddenly disappeared in that vision and then i'm seeing this creature and it is looking at me having eyes that are as big as a human head i'm not exaggerating it looked like a dinosaur and it was looking at me red eyes and then it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it and it would still be alive and he was looking at me with fierce anger and he made a statement he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was a statement but satan hindered us you will you will be amazed to know how many things would have been easy for you But Satan hindered us now listen let me tell you this even though it happened with Jesus I want to explain something to you <laughs> the centurion in one of the synoptic accounts pleaded with Jesus to come and rescue their child from dying remember that story while Jesus was on his way going another woman interrupted him and said please i have an issue of blood and he focused and was dealing with her issue by the time he was done in one of the synoptic accounts they said this other person had died timing matters in destiny hear me it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins if the bridegroom came early all the ten they were all virgins the delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five they all started well but the bridegroom was late I want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance I desire to come to you once and again only God knows how many things in Abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you they have tried they tried in 2019 they tried in 2020 Lift your voice and pray with understanding. I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb. Paros kates kote mashata. Open doors that should have come. Lift things that should have come. 
answers to prayer that should have come Alike paruska te prente ke toska via da vos e prekete ko tosko to prete ke tele katos shames kon de prendi katos kiata Sete prendi ke di bash Sede preketo prosko to Maria tabada doshane e preketo skoto prato skoto prende kete ma e preketo sombro sosi kete legos makata prende ke perusia ta e preketo skoto shoto prende kete baratos. wonder the results you will get from this prayer believe me now listen once upon a time in Bible days there was a criminal called Barabbas listen carefully many of you will be surprised the reason and the explanation for disfavor around your life there was a criminal called Barabbas who had been troubling the people and they apprehended him and, and kept him and then one time when they caught Jesus also, listen to me, Pontius Pilate brought Jesus to stand and brought Barabbas to stand and they asked the people, who do you want to be crucified and who should be released? There was a spirit that came upon the people and they looked at Jesus and said, this is the one to crucify and release the criminal. How do you in your right mind release a criminal? So don't be surprised that there can be four people in the office who are supposed to be promoted and in spite of your capacity that there is an orchestration of darkness where good can be called evil and evil can be called good. He said do not allow your good to be evil spoken of. That means if you keep quiet and you don't pray you can be doing good but a perception can come on your good and it will be seen as evil. Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and decree and declare. My good will be rewarded as good. My good will never be evil spoken of. Barabbas should never be released. A criminal in the stead of a righteous man. Shanazeke soto paruta Ebra katosha teleke tosko to prendegeta Ekrek tosko tosko to pegeta Maka paronto shono manakata pregetes Please pray let your good be evil spoken of do not let your good be evil spoken of oh man of god oh businessman oh career person contend in prayer do not allow your good to be misrepresented hallelujah 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 praise the lord let me show you 
a mystery in Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 the Bible says and Abraham was old and well stricken in age help me finish that scripture and the Lord had blessed him in how many things so God is able to grant rest round about now please come with me to Acts chapter 26 Acts chapter 26 Acts 16 Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 Acts 16 from verse 25 now when you begin to read contextually you will see that Paul casted a demon out of a lady who brought gain for her masters by divination is that true on account of that miracle it boomeranged on them and they, they now took them and kept them in prison but there's something I want to show now a prison is a place of confinement it's a place of limitation the Bible says at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them 26 suddenly there was a great earthquake hallelujah so that the foundations of the prison were shaken please read the next sentence everyone and immediately all doors how many doors how many doors immediately once there was an earthquake all doors financial doors open all doors open a God can give a man rest round about it says all doors open all doors open listen when you read second Kings chapter 5 will not turn there for sake of time the Bible says Naaman there was a man called Naaman he was the captain of the Syrian army he says he said he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous thank God for the areas you have gotten results but for the sake of one other area you must insist in prayer that in this year all doors open lift your voice and pray all doors all doors all doors all doors all doors in the marvelous name of Jesus all doors all doors open all doors doors of favor open all doors doors of speed open of ministry open open in the name of Jesus all doors open doors of jobs open doors of relationships open doors of fruitfulness open hallelujah 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 we're wrapping up please do not forget what I want to share with you now please look up let me establish probably the last prayer point or so the gospel the gospel that we that we preach has two sides to it there is the message that saves that is the first dimension of the gospel the message that saves and the key to propagating that message is evangelism are we together but there is the second dimension to it the ideology that transforms society so there are two sides to the gospel there is the message that saves there is the ideology that transforms society 
the key to advancing the message is called evangelism but the key to advancing the ideology is called influence i'm establishing my prayer request now my prayer point so for you to completely preach the gospel you need to embrace the message that saves that deals with you personal salvation but territorial salvation is the mindset that is introduced into systems and structures that enthrones Christ are we together now if you focus only on the message that saves you will be saved as an individual but your territory will frustrate your Christian experience an example was Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah Lot was a righteous man as a person but he was among a people who were depraved and he could not find expression so there are two keys to kingdom advance number one is evangelism number two is influence Satan has a primary assignment to stop both but if for any reason he can't do anything about your receiving Jesus now your personal salvation is a done deal the next place of attack is your influence what is influence influence is the capacity to cause men to buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty territories can be changed overnight with the power of influence cultures are shaped through influence the bible says and i if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men can i tell you most people downplay the power of influence at every point in your life someone is influencing you and you are to bring the influence of the kingdom satan will fight influence in any way he can i want to show you a scripture because the gates of influence is about to open for someone are we together in isaiah chapter 60 when you read from verse 1 to 3 it says arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you i would like to quote this many times from amplified it says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light it says for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you listen carefully verse 2 says for darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen in you verse 3 influence gentiles all nations shall come not to you to your light and even their arrogant kings their kings already have results they won't come to your light they come to the brightness of your rising are we together the end time church is going to advance the frontiers of the kingdom not only through evangelism and discipleship but it will come through influence acts chapter 12 oh someone's life is changing acts chapter 12 from verse 1 please do not forget this scripture and this revelation now watch this you know that the disciples of jesus i want to show you how satan fights influence you know the disciples of jesus were in different levels there was the 70 or 72 he had the 12 but there were three people there were things that they saw the rest did not see and satan marked every one of them he started by beheading james it was peter james and john the threefold cord that cannot be easily, easily broken when he found james and they beheaded him he went straight to paul the bible says they killed james and he saw that it pleased the jews and he went straight to peter during the days of the unleavened bread be patient let's read the bible says when he had apprehended peter he put him in where 
prison what was he fighting he put him in prison you would think that would be enough but then he brought four quaternions of soldiers to still keep him in prison it was not just confinement he wanted four eight soldiers again covered him intending after Easter to bring him forth before the people verse 5 the Bible says Peter therefore was kept in prison please help me finish the remaining part of that sentence but prayer was made this was what was not done for James unfortunately there is no record that they stood in for James and James died but when Peter was there the church said no way there is something we can do please keep it there we're still reading the Bible says prayers was made without season of the church unto God for him the result verse 6 the Bible says and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains Abba, you lock a man in prison tie him with chains and put eight soldiers that's not a fight for liberty is influence and the Bible says that the keepers were there before the door who kept the prison verse 7 and behold the angel of the Lord came in response to prayer listen and a light shined in that prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell from his hands verse 8 the Bible says the angel said guard yourself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and when he went out listen carefully he followed him and wished not that which was true which was done by the angel but he thought he saw a vision now verse 10 the Bible says he held Peter the angel and they passed the first and second ward or gate watch this now they passed the first gate he was no longer in prison but he was still confined they passed the second gate far from the prison but still no liberty and the Bible says and they came to the iron gate which leaded to where so there is a gate that leads to the city every man's city is his place of influence did the Bible not say you are <laughs> listen there is a gate that leads to the city when that gate opens the city must see you for who you are and now begin to place a demand the iron gate that leads to the city businessmen hear me you can be in a city and yet spiritually you are not there because there are gates that must open I understand what I'm telling you listen in Zaria one time there are few only few people here that really understand you know that may know Zaria the Lord asked me to trek from a place quite far in town and to trek down till a place called aviation and I was trekking and just speaking over that territory because there are spirits that reside over that place I know what it means for the tulip gates of a city to be opened can I tell you you can be doing I've seen many gifted people sir anointed and sincere but the gates that leads to the city has not been opened I've seen business people who cannot understand preachers sincere love God anointed but the two leaf gates in ancient times you would never come into a city until the gate is open is that true every city spiritually has gates 
just because you move there physically does not mean the gate is open there is a protocol to influence now watch this the first gate opened the second gate opened and the bible says this very gate was called the iron gate and my bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder when jesus prophetically in psalm 24 was returning back to the land of the living there was a cry lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors hold on those doors have been there for a long time they are used to closing over people and the gates replied who is this king of glory can i tell you this listen for a few of you who may have seen the posters that and i'm saying this respectfully of my coming into the city when i was praying that map of abuja or something there's one I, I i don't i still don't know the names of your cities you won't believe it cities is city gates there's one map there like that that was what i saw in my vision that was why i told them to put it in the you know the the billboard or whatever it is because you see let me tell you sincerely spiritually speaking gates have seen sit um, um cities have gates you want to understand this properly go to the north you won't get it very well around the south you go to the north you see the entrance of every major place you see that now the gates do not have anything closing them but you enter and believe you are in you the city will show you you are not invited there are many business people in abuja you see the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course psalms 82 and now verse 5 verse 6 says i have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high the tragedy is verse 7 it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes it takes high level spiritual illumination to be able to command authority even in prayer the foundation for effective prayer is access to the mysteries of the kingdom so that you pray in keeping with the will of god you can know your prayer will be answered your intelligence is consistent with scripture you are not praying amiss the iron gate that opens to the city can i tell you this some of you here are business people some of you here have schools you're running some of you here might be other ministers who came that there is a gate that has to open but when that gate opens you will marvel and wonder the bible says gideon blew a trumpet and 33 000 people you would think he did, he did not know where they were hiding he just there was a shofar can i tell you there is an anointing called the hear ye him anointing people don't just listen to you because you have something to say it takes more than that this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased creation was given an instruction hear ye him when that grace comes on your business right from where you are when it comes upon the works of your hands i'm saying this because we're about to pray that that gate in the name of jesus christ must be opened hither and thither because the king of glory wants to make a triumphant entry are you ready to pray lift your voice and decree and declare gates a fata be open gates a fata Peter and Tita be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Mandebalakos 
Shaki kate prendi keti la pasta. The iron gate be broken, be open. Gates of influence, the gates that leads to the city, be open, be open. The King of Glory desires to come in. Be open. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus name. Let me pray for you now. You have done the praying. Second Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to Second Corinthians, I want you to be very sensitive now. You have prayed. Let me pray for you. Second Corinthians 9 and verse 8. Hallelujah. Ordinarily, I would have told you this maybe privately in the office, but the Lord is asking me to say it in the open. I just saw a vision and I saw you and your wife, and I saw it was like two sheep, and you were walking and you had gotten to the end of one sheep, and I saw a hand stretched and it held you to another sheep and it began to move. I believe, I do not understand, sir. I believe that another phase of ministry you hear what i'm saying go and write it down in addition to what you are currently doing another strange apostolic and dim and prophetic dimension of ministry is opening because this instruction to pray for a long time there are many things that god has not said yet that by by the end of it he will tell why he called for a fast like this just believe me that this fasting is midwifing one season into another that's why god is saying i should say it openly so that the day he tells you they will know that it's not you that just said it that's why i'm saying it in the open ordinarily i may just go and tell him in the office i saw a hand like a sheep sheep and just held him and another season so don't you be surprised what will come out by revelation in the course of this fasting do not think it is the flesh but hear me it is another dimension of ministry this is true 
it is another dimension of ministry and there are three very strong anointings that will in multiplied dimensions would start working in the life of this man and his wife number one is the teaching grace number two is the healing grace number three is the prophetic grace these three graces in strong dimensions you would begin to see testimonies and manifestations of the hand of God this word would not fail it will happen by the Spirit the second thing I want to say and I apologize again God is asking me to say it and I'm saying it in the open your membership have not yet come the people you are raising are leaders by the time the leaders are raised it will be like an inferno of fire the kind of training you are giving these people is not for membership there is a strengthening they are building capacity because the oil stops when there is no more vessel and so he's listen many of you here you think you are just members of a ministry you are the leaders he's building capacity when he's done it was when the ark was ready that the animals started coming they don't come to wait until the ark i'm speaking this by prophecy an ark of three stories of gopher wood is being built even in this ministry and with this man and when that ark is done the same grace that brought the animals on their own they came two by two and seven by seven they will come by the spirit it will be a wonder to behold what God can do with a man who hears him give Jesus praise now I want to pray for you do you believe in the power of God second Corinth please stand sir please second Corinthians 9 and verse 8 listen after tonight you must do well to go and invite everybody you know look at what I mean as you are here I'm sure some of you is paining you right now that my loved ones should be here I was glad when they said unto me let us go not let me go let us go It's wrong when you are going alone it is let us go anything that is godly is always let us let us make let us go and God is able to make all grace not some grace grace is in dimensions God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency in how many things may abound unto every good work let me explain this scripture that means God is able to coordinate every grace you need and to bring it within your reach this scripture is based on the principle that what is on you is what controls what is around you your results are a report card telling us what is on you or not on you thou anointest my head with oil not my cup it is my head that is anointed but I know the size of what is on my head by looking at my cup if my cup is overflowing it means what is on me is overflowing so the physical results in your life are attestations to the grace the kind and the level of grace that you carry are we together you can know that the grace that is upon you has multiplied by the results that change you can know what kind of grace you carry by the testimonies that recycle around your life they are receipts when they change something changed are we together meetings like this by the Spirit of God leads us to pray but then it gives us an opportunity to be able to take something upon our heads that we did not come to church with you can carry something that you did not come with the Bible says when the donkey of Kish was missing they went three days this young man called Saul hmm. 
and after three days when they did not find it he said let's return back he said no we've left too much there is a seer let us go to that man the word of the lord does not fail and as soon as they saw samuel i was so blessed when your man of god made a profound statement he said god's strategy is man it's not a lie when the devil wants to destroy you he introduces a man when god wants to help you he introduces a man in any case it will still be by the ministry of man are we together we are nothing on our own except for the graces that we carry listen the grace of god is a mysterious advantage when it comes upon a man with understanding it can turn the narrative of your destiny in one day when they met samuel look at a problem that was costing them so much difficulty but as soon as they met a man look at how he trivialized that problem samuel said no go up i will tell you what is in your heart as soon as saul saw samuel the donkey started returning home nobody asked the donkey to return home as soon as saul met with samuel be careful what you call impossible there are graces that have been anointed to trivialize your challenges and make it look as if the devil does not exist three things happen when saul met with samuel number one he said is it not because the lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance and he poured oil on his head and said three things will happen to you number one the ass the donkey that has been missing you will find out that restoration has happened the anointing can bring restoration that means just because it left you does not mean it left the earth it is still there under a certain condition it can come back number two he said on your way going you will find three men holding two loaf of bread they will salute you and they will give it to you as if they did not know what to do with the bread they bought bread and were on their way home but because of what was on you they will give you two loaves say favor say honor number three it says you will come to a garrison of the philistines and when you get there something will happen to you and you will now begin to prophesy and he so prophesied that they said is saul when did saul who trained you we know how long it took for us to be prophets by what mystery did you access this anointing that by april you will invite someone and say come to my house and you'll be driving very far thinking is where he knew you to be the last time you met and he will tell you no 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 i forgot to tell you i'm no longer there listen can i tell you this please hear me i believe in diligence i believe in process but there is a prophetic advantage to living can i tell you this true dominion the zenith of dominion is dominion over time not things time you are truly working in dominion when you can compress time and i will restore not the things the years let me tell you how god restores and i will pray with you i hope i'm not wasting your time that means you see in the presence of god there's nothing like past present and future that's a reality that only resides within the realm of men he only broke his realm into this tripartite the trinity of time past present and future to help mankind relate with him but god does not live in time he does not even live in eternity because eternity is also time it's just time without end god's realm is called now everything is a present reality you see in truth so when god reaches into what you call he can go into your yesterday 
and your tomorrow you see physically when you leave yesterday you don't go back again that privilege was not given to men ordinarily except by the gifts of the spirit and you can tap into information but from a physical standpoint when it's gone it's gone but God will find out based on his predetermined counsel listen carefully how God restores the things that should have happened to you because with every time God gives you there are things that should have happened if by demonic manipulation or your ignorance or carelessness that thing did not happen God will go back into it and push the thing to your future and make it happen again are we together so if by God's predetermined counsel you should be in your own house by 2018 but by lack of sensitivity you did not take advantage of the prophetic word that came from the man of God maybe at that time you were not serious spiritually and you trivialized the word you see that now the house you are building now is not the same one that should have come so what God does is that instead of you going through the labor of building it he can fix that rep that blessing under a class of blessings called prepared blessings hear me there are times that God will send rain on your farm and the crops will grow well you will do the harvesting and the storage but there are times the urgency in your life does not require corn it requires bread directly both corn and bread it is still the same God who sends it God is able to give seed to the sower and bread to the eater what if the sower is hungry because there are times the sower is hungry and he will need to eat to have the strength to go and sow so God gives you bread so that from the strength of that bread you can go and sow are you learning now believing that the only channel of God's blessing is your farm you are limiting his potentials manna can come from heaven manna coming from heaven does not stop you from sowing it's an act of his mercy to make sure you are satisfied early then you go and sow your name is to be hallowed I spent one month it was a February sir the whole of that one month I was praying and studying on favor because I didn't come from a background that would easily give me that privilege and I knew that if I were to do ministry with integrity I would need the favor of God when I found the keys and found the grace I knew this was it I want to pray some prayers for you now and I want you to receive it listen you will thank your man of God and you will see the sincerity and the love in his heart after this meeting and the testimonies that follow listen it takes more than desire to excel the kind and the quality of grace that is upon you when we honor men we don't honor bodies we honor the sacrifice of alignment alongside the election of grace that has captured this vast dimension of graces upon their lives are we together i want to pray for this grace for favor number one exodus 11 and verse 3 please give us exodus 11 and verse 3 and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians moreover the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people notice if it is favor it works with the power of sight that means when the favor of God is upon you the only person who should not bless you is a blind man the moment they can make contact with you they are compelled by an anointing hold on 
the reason why Moses was great was that it was in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of the people when favor comes on you both the king and the people see you in a way that is deserving of favor Exodus 3 21 and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians what is the proof of the favor and it shall come to pass that when ye go prophesy to yourself I shall not go empty Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part and Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her not them who wanted to favor her your mistake was just to look the moment you can look the anointing works by the power of sight please i'm not just exciting you believe in what i'm telling you she obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 same chapter read verse 17 if you're a christian one to read and the king loved esther above stop above above that means before esther came there were others he was looking at but as soon as she showed up he loved them but he loved her above and she obtained grace and favor again in his more than all the virgins so that he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Are you ready to receive? I want to pray for you now. The power of God will come on you. You don't have to kneel. Just believe. There is a lady here who is going to shout right now a loud shout under the anointing the moment that happens that grace for favor will begin to move across this is what i just saw in the spirit the power of god is coming on it you it's not something you can stand it is it is these are dynamics of the anointing a loud shout is an anointing of the spirit that will come right now i'm ready to pray for you now Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of the living God, help them please. I decree right now, may that grace and that unction, my goodness, let it come upon you right now. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that anointing. Help that lady please. Supernatural favor. I decree and declare I place it as a mantle upon your head go and excel I shift systems and structures by the power of prophecy may that grace rest upon you find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with Egyptians find favor with kings in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is honor is a grace. Listen, you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another honor is a grace that is transferable do you know what is, is honor honor means to be seen for who you truly are and to be rewarded to match the true worth of your person that's what honor means favor means to be preferred 
but honor means to be given the regard that befits your sacrifice you can be great but if honor is not on you you will not be rewarded to match your true worth let me show you a scripture numbers 27 from verse 18 to 20 let's hurry up for time we're wrapping up now the lord said unto moses take thee joshua the son of nun a man in whom is the spirit already and lay your hands upon him is that in your bible verse 2 he says set him before Eliaza the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight verse 20 please read it if you're a Christian one to read and thou shalt put some of your honor on him that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient people don't listen to you just because you are sincere there is honor that comes upon you call Moses he's already filled with the Holy Spirit but lay your hands upon him and then in anointing him don't leave him like that transfer some of your honor to him honor is transferable can I pray for you father just help those under the anointing I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that grace right now may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ that grace for honor everything that has despised your grace everything that has despised the investment of God upon your life I change that narrative by this mantle in the name of Jesus Christ help them please in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Joseph Joseph I'm hearing a name Joseph who is that Joseph we're wrapping up what do you do my friend What do you hold on? What do you do? What do you do? Who is a who is a music minister here? You is, is he a member? Huh? You sing. Listen to me. You see that prayer on the iron gate? Go and pray that prayer when you go back. I want to pray for you because truly God wants to lift you. But this this is not just by human connections is not what this is by the spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that grace that gives visibility something is coming on you right now take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same take that grace by the power of the holy spirit Is there anybody here that works in Access Bank? Access Bank. Access Bank. Oh. I know him. I didn't even know he was one.
there are strange liftings that are coming to people in this place I stretch my hands three of you I, you don't have to kneel in the name of Jesus Christ I place an anointing upon you that in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ this grace for favor let it come upon you right now for your lifting you take that grace find favor even with your administrators in the name of Jesus and every conspiracy of darkness to implicate you we cancel it right now by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayers I want to release the grace for speed truly there is a grace for speed now hear me I don't know how we are going to do it I just have maybe less than two three minutes and I'm done thank you for your patience with me but I want to release this grace from the depth of my heart I told you true dominion is dominion over time now whether you are an usher or not please help me in this prayer because the hand of God will come on people and they will start running physically I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and you can bring them out right now I stretch my hands this this ministry would be characterized by and with a strange order of speed I stretch my hands at the count of three my God I'm just seeing fire rest on people please bring those under the anointing right now at the count of three one bring them up two Three, take that grace now. Help them. Speed. Speed. Help them, please. My God. Speed. Speed. Receive that grace. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I command speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. I cause the root of delay by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I cause a bakato shedegata. Prateske tebe katosiata. Empra katoskatia. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. you'll never be the same speed 10 years in one year 10 years I prophesy 10 years in one year the results of 10 years in one year 10 years in one year in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman please in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me I stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of God in three months from today according to the mystery of the ark in the house of Obed Edom I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak to you between now and the next three months I shift you to a new season help them I shift you to a new season hear me we're wrapping up that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and they opened the chronicles and he saw where Mordecai had saved the life of the king and was not rewarded hear me many of you have been part of the success story of many and yet you've been forgotten I stand by prophecy let the book of remembrance be open now there is an anointing coming on your wife sir I'm seeing an angel pour like oil on her and the Lord is saying she's entering a season of reward this is what I'm seeing in the spirit 
she's entering a strange season of reward let me say it again anyone who has forgotten you i stand in partnership with the grace of your man of god may that book of remembrance be open now is there any man in the house of saul that i may show kindness for jonathan's sake in the name of jesus the son of the living god by this fire that is coming upon you i decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are in this abuja i speak to the north i speak to the east i speak to the south i speak to the west i command them to show up for you now hallelujah last prayer point please hear me the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established it says believe in his prophets so shall you prosper can i tell you this there are different dimensions and levels of wealth there is wealth that comes by providing value there is wealth that comes by relationships but there is wealth that comes by prophecy it says by this time tomorrow and when he said it the one who the king leans on said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen i want to pray for you praying the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness however in this kingdom we are not just left with economic principles there is a superior advantage that in addition to the value that we provide in addition to the relationships that come based on our impacting lives my life is a testimony i can tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters i pray for you finally in this prayer session of fasting and praying in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god the same grace that took a raven and it brought bread for elijah at brook Cherith. the same grace that took coin and put it in the mouth of a fish the same grace that turned five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people with 12 baskets remaining by the power of the prophetic in the name of jesus i connect you to strategic relationships strategic relationships in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ i pray with the few minutes that we have i pray that as we stretch in prayer trusting him to bring deliverance trusting him to bring healing that at the end of this service nobody will walk empty in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you have fought for food at physical weddings that carry no power you fought and insisted you must carry the cabbage the rice the chicken i have children at home you ate ate again sat down change your table to eat the next one and carry to go i'm just joking with you <laughs> amen but here you don't need to change your table it will keep going around if you miss it it comes again if you miss it it comes again those outside if you miss it it comes again in the name of jesus christ rise up on your feet i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up exalted i receive i manifest i manifest your power your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up are you ready to celebrate him now Receive, receive, 
and begin to pray in the spirit thanking God for the word tonight and declaring that you are receiver someone pray someone pray someone pray all the overflows pray our family connecting online connecting by way of television go ahead and pray take a minute and invest in the spirit be a sower tonight sowing into the spirit a feast of fat things a feast of the spirit an expression of the love and the power of God in the midst of his people we receive tonight we receive tonight we receive tonight we receive tonight come on someone pray from the depth of your heart we're in a season where God is taking men to new dimensions new season in ministry a new season in my life a new season in business season of plenty season of increase season of fire season of power in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. we have but a few minutes and we're going to be as fast as we can ladies and gentlemen let your hearts be opened he's called you and he never calls the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain I'm going to begin to minister by the Spirit and hopefully at the end of it I will invite God's servant Reverend Sam to just speak over our life since he's here I believe in the corporate anointing just to make prophetic declarations hallelujah today will be one day you will not forget in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ so you sit back fasten your seat belts allow me do my thing you have believed that's your own so you just leave me and God to do the rest. Your own, you have believed, you've done your own. Hallelujah. Get out of our way. You just stand, be ready to receive and leave me and God together. Hallelujah. But one thing I assure you of is my God will surprise you. Every word that comes, remember you have been taught. Don't be careless. Receive it with your heart. Hallelujah. And I'm going to start by ministering deliverance of people. And the moment I'm done, We'll pray for the sick and we'll hopefully take testimony. I'm seeing my footballer people. Don't worry, my friend. You put down your boots there. I'm going to pray for you. These guys really mean business, these footballers. I think they've seen what God is doing and it's better than going to idols. Is that not true? Hallelujah. All right, so before you shout, I want you to bring those who will come under the anointing you don't need to do anything you just listen to the instruction this is what God is putting in my heart and this category of people who will be coming out now by the spirit as I'm speaking and, and ushers please will, will make that very fast this category of people who will be coming out right now they are not coming out just for themselves I'm seeing in the spirit that there these are families that have been tied because I'm seeing chains around the legs of people this has made people immobile they are not able to make destiny progress and God wants to visit people now the time will come I'll ask you to shout but for now I'm just going to make that declaration and then I want you to please bring those people out in the name of Jesus Christ father thank you you have revealed this 
and every time you reveal it is so that you will redeem every one of the people that I've seen in this vision right now I declare by the spirit of grace let that yoke leave now bring them out in the name of Jesus you will not be able to stand it no this is we're talking of the great power of God this is authority in the spirit please bring them out tied by darkness your redemption comes and it comes speedily comes speedily this is koinonia please come hallelujah oh my help has come oh please bring them my help has come the influence of that word you will not be able to stand it if you if you are part of this prophecy the hand of God is coming upon you everyone who has been immobilized by life by destiny by witchcraft this grace is coming upon you and the Lord is bringing deliverance right now to everything there is an end surely there is an end please bring them out if I were you, I will be praying that everything that has held me down, that I will not make progress in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, it must give way tonight. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me a vision. Please listen. There is such power in this place. And in that vision, I'm seeing like the door of a prison. And I'm just seeing a hand turning a key. And I'm seeing the number 27. 27. I want to pray right now. Every family that has been locked, kept in bondage, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. At the count of three, I decree and declare as that if it's happening in the spirit in the name of Jesus that grace will rest upon you father I stretch my hands as you have revealed to me everyone whose life and destiny has been caged every family that has been caged right now at the count of three be released one two three I open that prison door now bring them out I open that prison door now by the authority of the Spirit, I open that prison door now. Bring them out. Let me pray. I just saw something for those in the overflow outside. Let me speak to those outside. I'm going to come to those inside, all the overflows, but those outside, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring the people out right now, outside. I'm seen by the Spirit 
the Lord is revealing something to me that there are people watch this I'm seeing a woman in the spirit with a child then she keeps losing the child this is not physical this is spiritual there are people who have carried things but they've been losing it outside I'm stretching my hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit everyone who is a victim of that be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now outside just the outside overflow this is what God is revealing I decree and declare everyone aborting destiny aborting visions losing things you should carry by the power that raised Christ from the dead that spirit of loss and waste is hereby destroyed in Jesus name I, 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 glory be to God say I, 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 glory be to God I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, glory be to God. I, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Now I want to pray. The Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Listen, there is fire that is burning here. And many, many people, many, many people, you will not escape this. I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus once. And as you pray, one of the things that God is visiting is curses that create patterns curses that create patterns of failure curses that create patterns of setback are you ready to shout that name father i'm praying in the name of jesus that as we shout that name that is above every name every family repetitive patterns patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of destruction let it give way right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout jesus I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Shepeketo katipata. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Negative patterns, negative circles, tying your life, tying your family, tying everything concerning your destiny. Bring them out. I release you, mother father be released sister brother be released from the north the south the east the west in the name of jesus be released hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit rebuke the spirit of disfavor this is the spirit responsible for shame and reproach I thought last week that word Ichabod, Jabez was named Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow. But the man got angry one day and said, Lord, oh that thou wouldest bless me. I want to pray. The spirit that brings shame, shame in relationships, shame in career, shame in ministry. I'm praying right now. Anyone who has been a victim of shame and disfavor, be delivered now. 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 I prophesy to you, be delivered now. The Bible says, and my people shall never be ashamed. Shall never be ashamed. Shall never be ashamed. I'm hearing the name Becky. Becky. I'm sure that may be a short form of Rebecca. Becky, who is that person? You are tying, you are wearing a cloth the same color with the, what you are tying on your head. Becky. <laughs> Becky, please, when you find the person. Becky. 
if I give a prophetic word, please don't just rush and come out because you are desperate. If it's not for you, just believe. I don't have to prophesy directly to you. Are we together? Yours is just to believe. Becky, in the name of Jesus, the person I'm seeing, well, I will pray. Hallelujah. Just come and stand here. No, no, my, relax, be patient. God has located you already, so you don't need to come and just be rolling on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ, Becky, the Lord is showing me. I want to pray for someone here. The devil has been using your face and people have been seeing you in their dreams as an evil person. Like he uses your face. I'm praying. I just saw, I kept quiet because God was speaking to me on that. The youth people go to bed and then they see your face causing destruction. They wake up believing that maybe you are involved in witchcraft. I don't know who that person is, but I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is turning, giving a negative identity in the spirit. Before I come to the Beckys, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from it now. Hallelujah. Becky, I want to pray for you. Please look at me. You see, when God speaks a word like this, it is because he wants to bring you deliverance. Not everybody is playing games. I want you to believe there is authority in the prophetic word. Hallelujah. And once he calls you, even if he does not tell you anything, the fact that he has called you and you have come, you believe that you never come into his presence and go back the same. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. There is a gentleman here. I need to pray for you. Your brother is in jail. Your brother is in jail. As I speak now, he's in prison. He's in jail. And I want to pray because it is a spirit. This, this is a spirit of misfortune, bad luck, all kinds of evil things keep happening in the, to the people in your family. Now, I want to pray. Two of you in front here. The power of God is coming on you now. I just saw fire on two of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, as that grace rests on you, two of you in front here, in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring unto you that every limitation in your life, you just keep them gently. Let it go. Father, you called out Becky. I'm praying whatever it is that is a covenant that is sponsoring witchcraft in these families, I declare by the fire of the Holy Spirit, let it give way now. Let it give way now. Let it give way now. I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. You will never, never, never return to this calamity again. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, your brother is in jail. Your brother is in prison. This is what I'm seeing. Whether you are falling online or outside, please don't tell lies. Make sure that you understand what I'm saying. Don't just come and stand emotionally. Make sure that this is true. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Where is he? Where is your brother? He is in Sokoto. He is a soldier. Yes, sir. He's a soldier. Yes, sir. But he's in prison. Yes, sir. He is in Gadurum since six months ago. No, don't worry. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God will bring him out? Yes, sir. I believe. You too, my friend? Yes, sir. My brother is in jail. The lady too? Yes, sir. Your brother? Yes, sir. Father, you are a God of mercy. In as much as we do not truncate law and order, we know that in the realm of the spirit, mercy triumphs over judgment. Because you have revealed, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these precious ones. Lord, they will come and stand on this altar and they will testify that you have been this good. In the name of Jesus, we introduce the mercy of God across systems and structures. And we pray, especially for those who were wrongly put in prison. I hope you know prison. A prison is where both good and bad people meet. Don't judge anybody you see in prison. You may be talking about Joseph. The prison and the cross are two mysterious places 
anybody you see on the cross don't judge because you may be talking about jesus there are people on the cross who are not dying for their sins there are people in the prison who are not suffering for their sins these are two mysterious places when you see people in the prison and you see people on the cross yours is to pray because three people were on the cross two were victims of their calamities but one was there as a savior there were many people three people again were recorded in scripture the wine presser the baker and joseph the two were there justly but joseph was there as a deliverer in the making so the prison is a mysterious place is where both good and bad people meet but i'm praying for you because god has brought you out here let the power of the holy spirit i use you as a point of contact to your loved ones every power that is bringing this satanic oppression over this family let it come to an end now in the name of jesus christ there is someone from january till now you have lost three jobs you got three jobs and you lost all the jobs three jobs and all of them have left I'm not talking of something that somebody said come and manage you got a job and you still lost it three what i'm seeing in the spirit i want to pray for you and i'm using you to pray for every other person what is the spirit that makes you lose things that when good things enter your hand they don't stay can i pray for you koinonia in the name of jesus christ you got three jobs and lost them in abuja here what was the last job Last month, sir. Where? In Abuja, Jabi here, sir. What job was that? Driving job, sir. Driving? Well, I'm a BSC holder, sir. But you are? A BSC you holder. You are a BSC holder. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Um, the most important thing is that God lifts you. There is nothing that is done with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Are we together now? It is better to drive with honor, even if you are a graduate, than to steal to kill and to destroy and let me say this here anybody who wants to come around your family this onslaught i'm going to be praying some serious prayers kidnapping and asking people to bring ransom a family that is still trying to feed and they just come and pack someone and say bring ransom 10 million 5 million and they enter for some families if they get into a debt of 2 million that is a transgenerational debt because with the state of that family, even in 10 years, they will not be able to pay. And yet in one week, they, can, they have to cough out that money. I'm praying for you. Any programming of darkness to stop you and will lay you on the road or to come to your house and kidnap people or cause trouble. I call upon the God of vengeance. In the name of Jesus, may he visit the wicked. May he visit the wicked. For those of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare, you had jobs and you lost. When God gives, he retains, he keeps. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, for your shame, according to scripture, receive double. For your shame, oh, I release grace on you. Receive double. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone say after me, Father. Shout it, say, Father. Let my portion in life and destiny locate me now. Go ahead and pray. Let my portion. God is a God of portions. Please open your mouth and pray. Let my portion. That allotment for me in life and destiny extend that prayer to your children let my portion in life let my portion in destiny locate me let my portion in life my portion in destiny locate me someone pray in your prayer is your miracle in your prayer is your miracle let my portion let my portion locate me by the spirit of grace hallelujah now hear me hear me god is a god of portions that means it is never god's idea for you to be a slave under someone forever you can start and learn 
but eventually God gives you your space. It's called Rehoboth. God has given us. And this also means territorial establishment. Are we together now? Yes. For a time period, you are allowed to stay in a place that is not your own. But with time, when the God of portion visits you, this is what happened to Jacob. Jacob was in the house of Laban. It was not supposed to be forever. But Laban used divination and found out that Joseph had been, that um, Jacob, it was because of Jacob's presence, he was increasing. And he refused to let Jacob go. Change wives, did all, change his wages, and kept that man for over 20 years. Anybody coming in the spirit of Laban, do not allow you have your space in life and destiny stopping that word Rehoboth from becoming your reality you dig a well and the Philistines come to cover it you dig a well and they come to cover it may my God give you your space in life in destiny in your home in your business I say it again the God of portions may he give you your own space Do you believe this prayer now look at me please when jesus was about to have what we call the triumphant entry the bible tells us that he sent his disciples he said go to a street whose roads divide watch this you will see a colt tied there that no man including the owner had ridden on there are people who are caretakers of certain things it is not for them it was supposed to pass through them but the spirit of Laban says it will not pass it will remain I pray for you Parakos Kiataba anyone carrying any cult that you should use for your triumphant entry triumphant entry in business in marriage in family in ministry and is refusing to allow that cult get to you I pray for you may it be released now May it be released now. Go to a street whose a road whose streets divide, and you will see a cold. There are monies God gave men that is not for them. He made them prosper unusually in the business, not because of their transactional prowess. He knew that somebody. There are people today who have built properties they don't know why. That property is not just claiming people's things. This is not what I'm saying. Listen, please look up. Let me teach you something. There are two ways God blesses people. He blesses people by making you Abraham or he blesses you by making you Lot. Are we together? Not everyone will receive the mandate directly from God but everyone can be the partaker of the mandate. If you are lot and you are trying to prosper by being Abraham, you will die hungry. God called Abraham, but Lord said, I can still partake of it. Are we together now? So you need to know whether you are Abraham or lot. If you are Abraham, your mandate is to be faithful with what you have received because there is a lot who is at the mercy of your obedience. If you are lot, you must discern so that you do not break the relationship with Abraham because your prosperity is tied to your discernment. The first decision Lot took outside of Abraham's influence landed him in Sodom and Gomorrah. That means his prosperity was not a function of his wisdom. He was under a grace of Abraham. Hear what I'm telling you. There are many of you who if God is to allow you learn all the business principles by yourself and start prospering, it may be till 2030 before you prosper. But he brings you after the order of Lot. It is one of the ways he redeems time by giving men favor. Because it takes time to learn the genuine secrets that produce lasting wealth. And the truth is that there are people who have gotten born again late. Before they now begin to learn these principles, a woman of 70 years, where is she going to learn 25 principles for prosperity? She's made the mistake she did not maximize destiny, but is God still a God of mercy? So God will bring Abraham to her 
and she needs to have the wisdom of Lot. If you are Abraham, I am telling you, be faithful in hearing God because Lot, there are many Lots that are depending on your obedience. But if you are Lot, swallow your pride and honor Abraham because if you fight with Abraham, that is the end of your prosperity. The same Abraham that fought with Lot was the one who had to come and save Lot. And even in doing that, he lost his wife. You know what it means to lose your wife? The basis for your productivity. Pharaoh said, let the men go, but the women and children should remain. That means the men would die of old age, of natural cause, and there would not be transgenerational, there would not be continuity. Are we together? Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are some of you right now, by the mercy of God, and because of the covenant God had with your parents, instead of taking 10 years to start learning the principles, the truth is that time has gone. You already have five children. Before you learn all the rudiments, so what God does as an act of his mercy is he will let you hear when he's speaking to Abraham. As Abraham moves, you come as Lot provided you can be faithful a day will come you will not even know who God spoke to and who God on who is following the mistake do you know the trouble between Abraham and Lot started from their men not them their men train the people around you to know why the anointing is in your life so that they do not you don't lose the anointing and lose favor i don't know why the spirit of god is speaking this through me i'm speaking to the entire globe listen to me there are people right now the reason why you will lose favor is because of your children you have not taught your children that the church god planted you in is the reason why god is honoring them and you are watching them dishonor the vessel that god is using to lift you learn from lot remember lot's wife but remember lot too two of them have a story to tell are we together now know when you are abraham and know when you are lot not everybody will be abraham you can look onto abraham but not everybody will be abraham there are people today god has granted them an unusual grace they can sit down where they are every year they can have opportunity to give up to 30 people jobs and because of your relationship with them out of those 30 slots they will give you three three every year make sure you don't fight these kind of people because the day that happens that it will be the day your child now just graduates from school and is ready for a job and that door is closed i pray for someone whatever has taken you away from the blessing of abraham as lot may my god who is your god bring restoration may my god who is your god bring restoration and if you are abraham i'm praying for you the grace to stay until what god says manifest may it happen for you may that grace rest on you so that all the lots connected to you will not wait in vain because of your disobedience and lot went with him that was the wisest thing Lot did. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. When it was time for God to help the Ethiopian eunuch, he encouraged the servant Philip. He said, join this chariot for the sake of the man join this chariot if you leave this man alone confusion will kill him if you leave this man alone he will never be saved join this chariot can i tell you beware of the people god brings in your life there are destructive people i taught you but there are people who are gifts when you see other people joining your chariot discern if it's god that has sent them there respect their presence it's not idleness that brought them God send them to your chariot so that you will understand the interpretation of what you are reading. You have opened the book of your destiny, but you cannot understand it. So God sends them to join the chariot. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I pray for the sick now? Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle believe do you know reverend sam i got to find out that there are four 
I've discerned that there are four diseases that the devil is bringing to destroy people in the body of Christ. It didn't used to be an issue, but it, the church seems to be keeping quiet over it. And if we do not arise and pray, number one is called cancer. Cancer. Thank God for the research that is being done in medicine. But we need to pray and upgrade our levels of graces so that we can bring to end this, this demonic thing that is killing people. I know many people, sadly, who have died in the last two or three months because of this satanic thing. One time, I think it was a, some, maybe a few months ago, I was praying for people and then this beautiful young lady, seven years, this little girl, swollen by that devilish thing. You would think it is old people, but now seven years, what did the girl do? Satan for you. Cancer. Cancer. Number two that I want us to pray for is Satan is beginning to creep and he's fighting the next generation in the church and he's using the tool of infertility. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not a doctor, but there are many people who are all right. It is because of the coming of John that Elizabeth is suffering. It has nothing to do with Elizabeth. Even though later we know that it is God's plan so that John will come just shortly after Jesus and not be discouraged. But all the same, infertility. You will see somebody who is all right, wife all right. Are we together? Or she will take in and then here comes this demonic, satanic, familiar spirit. An encounter. And we think it does not matter. I don't want to, you see, territorial advancement and preserving the purposes of God is transgenerational. Every time Satan begins to fight continuity, there is a goal, there is an agenda. I speak in parables. It's important for you to be discerning. The next 10 years with this onslaught of infertility on the church is going to deplete the strength of believers to a point where we will go back to Egypt and become slaves. This thing is a strategy and we must pray. Number three, every madman Jesus saw in the Bible, he healed the person. There was one sickness Jesus did not tolerate. There were other sicknesses, some were healed, but madness was not one of it. To the point that Jesus crossed over to heal one person and return back, a madman in Gadara. This thing called mental health. It's creeping gradually in Nigeria. It's not too much. But in Europe, America, you see children and they tell you mental health. Someone can pick a, a, a knife, kill himself, kill the mother and begin to act. I mean, the stress that families, especially in Europe and US are going through because of mental health. You have four children and three of them are almost like madmen. You literally leave your destiny and you are focused at managing them. Every time you see distraction away from purpose, it is Satan's strategy. When the nation of Israel were serving the Lord, he said it is because they have straw. Stop giving them straw so that they will be busy looking for straw and they will not have the time to serve the Lord. This is number three. Are we together now? This is very important. The fourth one is not sickness per se like health but is the spirit of lack and poverty and satan is using the strategy of borrowing for as long as i am alive i will never watch the church of god go down economically it doesn't matter what people say or do not say it is part of the mandate to help god's people with dignity and integrity Correct the errors that are around the whole teaching on wealth that brings materialism. But to help God's people for God's sake to be empowered. If an unbeliever is the one training your child because of lack, that child will serve the God of that unbeliever. There is only one reason, hear me believers, why Egypt goes to, I used to say one, but I found two reasons now. There is one, there are two reasons why Israel goes to Egypt. Number one is to learn wisdom and knowledge. Number two is hunger. Are we together? Genesis 42, 1 and 2. There was hunger and Jacob spoke to his sons. 
he saw that there was corn but the location was wrong there was supply he saw that there was money but the man who has that money is a cultist but i am hungry and my husband has five children my husband has six children and the cultist is saying come you will work with me you will bow to my god and you will earn a salary of two hundred thousand. and church people are saying don't worry god is faithful love him anyhow and the person is getting into trouble give us verse one media verse one genesis 42 1 and now when jacob saw that there was corn in egypt he said to his sons why do you look upon one another verse 2 i have heard that there is corn the only problem is that the location is not a good place get thee down tita and buy for us yes i know that the man sacrifices people but just go we are hungry I know that the money the man wants to give me as a man of God is blood money. But what will I do? If I don't collect it, the church will not be built. I know that you are not caught. You still bring it. The church needs to be empowered. It has become a disease. This thing called poverty. For as long as I'm alive and for as long as God gives me the privilege of leadership over this ministry, I have vowed before God and it's my covenant to you that among many things that you must carry in this destiny is the grace to live a life of dignity and honor. You believe that? Shout Amen. amen. I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant at the expense of their economic empowerment. I'm committed to bringing the whole counsel of God. Among the five benefits of God is that he satisfied your mouth with good things so that your days are renewed, your youth is renewed. Let's pray for the sick now. You deserve the glory. Please lay your hands. And the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship. As I bless your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. As we lift our hands in worship, as we bless your holy name, for you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. now I want to pray for you you came here with someone who is sick you can lay hands on that person and we are honored to have I will always bless God for all the hospitals and the clinics that literally put these teachings during the miracle services for their patients there are literally clinics right now who are allowing either on screen or people using phones for their patients it's such an honor to be able to bring the healing power of Jesus to these places if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want you to believe in a healing Jesus remember part of the things available in this feast is his power to heal the Bible says the power of God was present to heal them but he only ended up healing one person I want to pray for you now believe believe only believe when I pray for you I'm going to give you instructions to check yourself when I say check yourself do it that if your neck could not move don't be afraid your feet could not move don't be afraid you came here with a walking aid don't be afraid your hands are unable to be lifted don't be afraid I will pray for you and let's see what God does tonight within the time that we have are you ready let's pray father in the name of jesus the son of the living god we're here because we are believers we believe in the cross we believe in the blood of the eternal covenant that has brought eternal atonement for sin for sickness and lord we pray right now by the power of the holy spirit i'm ministering to your people and to the nations 
many who are trusting God for all kinds of miracles in their bodies many of them holding death sentences this moment as medical reports many of them like the woman with the issue of blood they have spent their earnings they have spent their means of livelihood they have lost jobs because of ill health they've had many parts of their bodies deadened and weakened i'm praying right now oh god that you honor every word that comes from the lips of your servant therefore i pray every spirit my god that is the at the back of any disease any infirmity any health or mental distress i command that spirit to give way now i command that spirit to give way now in the name of jesus the son of the living god right now be healed i stretch my hands and i decree and declare your internal organs be healed now your heart be healed now brain tumors disappear now the lord is showing me someone you have a swelling at the back of your eye this is inside but it is affecting you in the name of jesus the power of god is healing you right now there's someone you have it is not a thyroid i don't know if it's a thyroid problem it's like goiter but um it's inside just inside within your neck and you are having a severe discomfort it's like some kind of ulcer some injury inside you feel the pain the power of god is touching you right now every heart problem be healed now someone is going to shout loud right now under the anointing in the name of jesus god is correcting something in the body of that person this is what i'm seeing every liver problem be healed now every damaged kidney jack back to life now I saw this same case that I want to mention now when I was ministering at yesterday in Asaba. I think it was yesterday, either Asaba or Lagos, I can't remember which. There's someone, you have a problem going to ease yourself, to urinate. It's like, it's like you cannot pass urine freely. I don't know what the name of the sickness is, but it just comes in droplets. You're not able and it's, it has severe pain. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is resting on you now. There's someone you are having severe ulcer. Severe ulcer. There are wounds inside you. And, and I mean, it, you're going through all kinds of excruciating pain. I decree and declare, be healed now. I'm seeing someone, the Lord is showing me something. It's a very interesting thing I'm seeing. You, go, you are going through severe pain almost like stomach cramps but this happens all the time always literally you cannot lie down i'm seeing you having to hold a pillow and just to lie on it in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching you right now now every bone condition bone conditions you are not able to walk you are not able to lift up your hands in jesus name be healed now if you came with a neck collar or some bracelet around your neck or around your joints i decree and declare may the power of god touch you be healed now be healed now brain damage be healed now in the name of jesus sleep apnea be healed now in the name of jesus christ there's a disease called insomnia in the name of Jesus, be healed now. The Lord, a miracle has happened there. Look at this. Bring her out. We are still praying. Bring her out. A miracle has happened there. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. She's removed her neck collar. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. 
don't be distracted we are still praying check them and make sure that let's pray we're still praying in the name of Jesus Christ now I'm praying for someone I don't know what problem you are having around your rib your your um, what they call it now um, your ribs you feel severe pain you are a sickler this person you are a sickler in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare be healed now be healed now now um, please don't be embarrassed by the case I'm calling there is someone I'm seeing the Lord heal you you are a lady this is not just you lactating what is coming out is not breast milk this is something that is dangerous I will not say more than that but you are having a very serious situation you need help right now because with what I'm seeing that thing is degenerating and it's almost something that we don't want to say anything negative but in the name of Jesus whoever that person is let the power of God touch you right where you are every shoulder pain be healed now you came here with any walking aid and you could not walk you're not able to move your legs I decree and declare that you begin to walk now I decree and declare that you begin to walk now let life and strength surge to your body right now in the name of Jesus and seeing someone you could not lift your hands just as I'm lifting it now but in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you now whether I mentioned your case or not for sake of time be healed now outside be healed now all the other overflows be healed now online be healed now I want you to check yourself now begin to do what you could not do begin to do what you could not do there are miracles happening the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you I like you to leave your seat right now let's take even if it's two or three miracles check yourself miracles are happening miracles are happening inside miracles are happening outside check your body bend over backwards lift your leg the moment you see that the power of God has touched you in fact the Lord is showing me someone you are in the overflow outside when you came and sat down you could not see the screen clearly but as I'm speaking now I want you to look clearly you will see that the power of God has touched your right eye particularly your right eye a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus let's celebrate them as they come while that is happening all the ushers please bring for me the prayer requests very quickly check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened I know that our time is gone I don't want you to sit back remember what I said about testimonies let's just have even if it's two three people come let's celebrate them let's celebrate them let's celebrate them koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles those who have received miracles from outside please make your way to the front check yourself do what you could not do people are coming are you celebrating what Jesus is doing all right begin to submit your prayer request too. we're doing all this at the same time my God Jesus is touching people um, there's someone you have a severe pain at the left side of your neck I want you to check it now it was even swollen you will check and see that it's gone gone forever in the name of Jesus let's take two or three testimonies very quickly yes are you ready who is ready anyone who is ready go ahead praise the Lord praise the Lord sorry mama was having this problem last year and mama was having what now neck problem neck problem year. yes then but today she received her healing. she's able she, to move her neck yes she can move her head. can she hear me mama yes. move your neck look at this look at this hallelujah look at this mama is saying she, she hallelujah removed, someone she should removed say amen. it herself oh she, she was, removed it she herself, removed herself. Uh, I removed give it to her let her hold it let the devil see it mama walk mama go walk let the devil see you move your neck oh hallelujah give jesus praise my goodness hallelujah praise the name of the lord mama we pray for you by the power of the holy spirit you will go back and tell everybody in your house that you encountered jesus at koinonia in the name of jesus christ amen let's celebrate her next person yes sir 
stretch your hands everybody by faith that includes those watching online watching from television go ahead if there are still requests coming please this is our final miracle service for 2023 not the final service by the way I hope you know that who we'll announced for the final service we still have about um, three weeks or thereabout hallelujah go ahead and begin to speak over these requests is the most accurate representation of your desires remember what I told you when your desires and expectations are defined then you are able to receive someone is praying I'll bow my knees as I pray whilst you also pray right there go ahead and pray father manifest your power over these requests in the name of Jesus thousands of requests from across the globe we declare by the Spirit of the Living God father visit people restoration in the name of Jesus financial upliftments fruitfulness sing that song one time for us while we pray in the Spirit Go ahead, everybody, you are praying. Shabra de Balagora Siena. Karatos Kapran de Balados Kaliata. Embratos Soto Pashaka Bregadish. Kabarando Soto Balaka Praska de Bradega de Balash. Embra Parus Sadi Balagos Yata. Shebera de Belega de Balagara. Come and manifest your power today. help me appreciate Reverend Sam I will invite him to just come and speak over the requests and then you speak over our lives and then we'll wrap up give him a big God bless you give him a big God bless you give him a big God bless you hallelujah let us pray can we just stretch our hands in this direction over this request father we thank you you're the God that answers prayer. There are no impossibilities before you. We spread our hands over this request. And with the amen of the saints, we decree and declare, contentions over your promotion is over. When Apostle was praying, that was one of the things that I heard. And I want to decree again, somebody due for the next office somebody i saw i saw about 71 offices vacant and the lord said the contention over your promotion is over the contention over your promotion is over the contention over your promotion is over I hear in my spirit clearly the contention over your marriage is over. The contention over your marital settlement is over. I am hearing congratulations in your father's house. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. There's a family here, three ladies are not married. And the Lord said, the door has just been opened. 
The door has just been opened. The door has just been opened. There is a family who thought you have thought this will be the year you will conceive and every attempt for contempt conception did not happen the lord said begin to rejoice because by this same time next year you shall have your baby to celebrate you will come on this altar by this same time next year to celebrate in the name of jesus Apostle, I'm hearing the door of the nations have just been opened for so many. Rejection is over. Rejection is over. Your visas are granted. I see 74 of you. Scholarships have just been released. It should be scholarship after scholarships. Your PhD is sorted out. Your master sorted out. In the name of Jesus Christ. When apostle was praying for you, I saw chains falling. And the Lord took me to Acts 16. The Bible says at midnight when Paul was praying, the Bible said the chain of all the prisoners fell down and their doors were open at once and the Lord is saying concerning your request here doors are opened unto you now the door of your lifting has just been opened the door of your advancement has just been opened the door of a career change has just been opened the door of finances have just been opened. The door of finances have just been opened. You are coming out of debts. You are paying off your debts. The door of joy has just been opened for you. The door of a turnaround has just been opened unto you. Every request represented here, one after the other, I decree back to back answers. Back to back answers. Back to back answers. Back to back answers. You will return to testify on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what family it is, but the Lord said you have been crying to him because of premature death. And the Lord said the door of premature death has just been closed in your family. The door of premature death has just been closed in your family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you the glory and the praise for this request. We give you the honor and the adoration for this request. Thank you for marriages. Thank you for children. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for turnarounds. Thank you for promotion. There is a military officer here. The Lord said your promotion has just been released. We give you the praise and the glory. Let your name forever be praised. That the Lord just said I should declare this over some people here. I'm hearing the word finishing. Now listen, listen. There are people under the sound of my voice. You are, I'm seeing so many projects that have been started, but somewhere you got stuck and you couldn't, you got stalled, you just couldn't finish. And I'm hearing it's a pattern in the family. They start things, they don't finish. They start things, they don't finish. Whosoever you are, inside and outside, the Bible says, and Solomon finished the building. And Solomon completed the building. With your hand upon your head and your amen so loud, receive the finishing anointing. Yeah. 
with your hand upon your head and your amen so loud receive the finishing anointing receive the finishing anointing as I leave you I mean I'm just hearing apostle I'm hearing and David recovered all please I don't know your name I wish I can put your name there but for all these requests recover all recover lost time recover lost opportunity recover the years that can't come on my second recover the years the locals have taken on this altar we decree and declare recover all hallelujah let's give reverend sam a big big god bless you hallelujah we're out of time just just three prayers i need to speak over your life if you brought any point of contact lift it up now i want to speak whether your documents whether whatever if there's nothing just lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i decree and i declare over your various points of contact inside and outside let an unction from heaven rest upon it and with these points of contact strange testimonies now strange testimonies now strange testimonies now in the name of jesus christ can i declare favor over you every door this is our year of open door every door that has been closed towards you by this mantle this grace you've heard the testimonies i pray for someone who is desperate to see the favor of god in your life beginning from tonight may favor start speaking may favor start speaking speaking in your office speaking in your home speaking in the morning speaking in the afternoon speaking in the night receive that grace in jesus name final prayer final prayer final prayer i want to pray the grace for encounters listen this is a spiritual house your prayer life your word study life your appetite for the things of the spirit it is important that it remains intact this is our major assignment therefore i pray for you in the name of jesus every prayer life that has gone down here you really want to pray and serve the lord but you find there is a weakness in your spirit you cannot explain right now fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh passion for the word receive it in the name of jesus christ and in the name of jesus i'm praying for you with your hands even these hands that are lifted the kinds of signs and wonders you have never seen happen through you i stretch my hands to those who believe in the name of jesus in this season may my god wrought signs and wonders through your hands Our time is up, but I'm led in my spirit to speak over your finances. Will that be a waste of your time? Mm. God helps men know this issue of finances. I want to pray for you. Every chain around your finances. With all humility, I tell you the truth. This is a ministry that God has helped. There is no reason why you should be part of this vision and then have yourself go down financially and in shame i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead financial shame financial limitation debt borrowing emotional stress because of finances it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now receive supernatural favor open doors for your finances in the name of jesus christ for someone the financial blessing you have from now till the end of this service year in the name of jesus between now and the end of koinonia service for this year from 
maybe the last five years put together, it will be that you have never received such favor. And I say it from my spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God raise men to bless you. May God raise strangers to bless you. May God raise friends to bless you. May God raise mentors to bless you. May God raise those you have raised to bless you. Hallelujah. Nothing dies in your hands. I prayed a prayer earlier on. Please let me pray for you. I place a mark on your head. Every spirit that wants you to be a victim of kidnappers, I say it again, or accident, or to hear bad news that they kidnap someone and you should bring money. I'm praying, let a mark of exemption rest on your head. Rest on your family. Rest on your family. And rest on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him praise. January miracle service. February miracle service. March miracle service. April, May, June. Someone is waving. July, August, September, October, now November. If you witnessed it, I want you to give Jesus a shout. A shout. A shout. A shout. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every infirmity. Every spirit that is back of any sickness. In the name that is above all names. I command that spirit to live now in Jesus name. Right now I decree and declare. Inside. Outside. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Blood conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Eye conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Organ failures. Be restored in the name of Jesus. The power of God is touching so many people. In the name of Jesus. There's someone suffering from muzzle pull. Muzzle pull like, like what footballers or athletes have. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is healing you now. Someone, your right ears, you don't hear with it. It is opening right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's someone you are following from national hospital national hospital i'm seeing you on the bed in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you right now supernaturally in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone there is a lump on your left breast as i'm praying right now you are feeling a a, a sensation of heat that devil leaves you right now in the name of jesus there's someone your right leg is swollen in Jesus name be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goita but by the power of the Holy Spirit as I pray right now it dissolves and goes down now HIV be healed now I say it again HIV be healed now every kind of cancer be healed now terminal illnesses be healed now those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid i declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of jesus christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of god is coming upon you and in the name of jesus perfect vision for you in the name of jesus christ 
there's someone you are having like um i'm hearing gastritis in the name of jesus whatever that condition is be healed of it right now be healed of it right now you have a a severe problem once you stand in the sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the holy spirit high blood pressure be healed now kidney problems be healed now frequent urination be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now pile be healed now i i don't know my god there's someone i'm i'm seeing is like of course i'm not a doctor but i'm it's like i'm seeing inside your head and there is something like a boil not a boil but a growth a projection inside your head literally in the name of jesus i don't know whether that has been verified medically or not but be healed right now there's someone you have a condition i don't know what that condition is but you bite your tongue or is it your mouth and you can injure yourself i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed the issue of blood is being healed right now very severe issue of blood is being healed right now there is a gentleman this is strange you are a gentleman also you are a gentleman not a lady but when you go to ease yourself sometimes you ease out blood that person the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in jesus name be healed there is someone here you have a medical condition that cannot allow you have a child you have a medical condition you are a man you are unable to get your wife pregnant in the name of jesus christ you're going to feel like fire just like a sensation come through your body and in the name of jesus the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now there's someone you could not move your left hand i'm i'm even feeling like like weight on my left hand the power of god is touching you right now begin to check it right now in the name of jesus a very supernatural miracle has happened you came here and your one of your molars i don't know i think it was removed but a miracle is going to happen you are going to see a brand new teeth right there this is what the lord is telling me in the name of jesus i declared by the spirit of grace by the power that raised christ from the dead someone has um like a growth a projection just this part of your neck this side in the name of jesus as i'm praying for you right now the power of god is coming upon you and that demonic thing gives way now now whether i mention your case or not diabetes diabetes is being healed right now sugar diabetes is being healed right now there's someone who was brought here with stroke like half of you i don't know if you can walk or not but the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus the son of the living god whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name 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 there is someone i'm seeing you are not in this country uh, it's not given to me to know what nation but i know you are outside this country you are holding your child your child is five years getting to six and has never spoken and the lord is telling me to pray for that child 
in the name of jesus i don't know what that nation is but i declare may the tongue of that child be loose now may the tongue of that child be loose now the lord is showing me a woman this is an elderly woman should not be less than 55 years old this is a woman in the hospital in coma completely in fact it's almost as if she's gone in the name of jesus we knock on the door of life and we declare that woman returns right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone for a long time please don't be embarrassed you've suffered what we call mouth odor very pungent smell it's not an issue of lack of hygiene you have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you and that that healing is happening right now in fact i'm seeing at least three or four people with this case i just mentioned no matter how you try to maintain your hygiene it looks like that embarrassment continues it's a demonic thing in the name of jesus be delivered the lord is showing me someone you went to bed and you had a dream and in that dream it had to do with death and from the time you woke up you have been sick till now it is the spirit of death in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare you are free from that demonic thing yeah. hallelujah now here's what we'll do i want to minister deliverance right now but for all those who are trusting god for healing I want you to check yourself right now the moment you check yourself and you find out that the power of God has touched you you could not do something I want you to do it right now inside and outside you could not work begin to walk you could not see begin to see the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please be guided by the protocol or ushers and you make your way to come right here to the front either to my left or to my right and then we'll have we'll give you room for your testimony very quickly while that is happening i'd like you to please submit your prayer request you would see ushers by your left and right you may do well to pass your prayer request to the last person either by your left or right so that they would pass it ushers please make that snappy so that we can have the people submit their request and if you have passed any row and they are yet to submit please just lift it up and then an usher will be there to attend to you i want to minister deliverance now I believe in deliverance I really do upon Mount Zion the Bible declares that there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession it is no news that Satan is determined to thwart our destiny and he has an arsenal of demon spirits that continue to go around the lives and the destinies of God's people spying upon their liberty but the Bible says, how terrible art thou in your ways, Psalm 66 and verse 3. It says, through the greatness of thy power, thy enemies shall submit themselves to you. And so I want to pray right now and rebuke every spirit that is back of the tragic events across and around our lives. Are you ready now? When I pray then, uh, together with those who will be coming out, all those who are healed and are coming for testimonies, will now allow them to come. Let me pray. You know, sometimes the way the Holy Spirit works is very strange. I've not even started praying and I started hearing shouts and people running in the spirit. This is what I started hearing. Bring them out. That's not the only one. You hear many like the healing power of Jesus just delivering people. That's what I started hearing in my spirit. And the Lord just asked me to allow that happen before I start speaking. The supernatural works in a very strange way. Sometimes... It, 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 these things how and why they happen i really do not know ours is just to flow with the holy spirit and do that which pleases him right so there will be many people right now who will start shouting under the anointing i want you to bring them out and then i will now start praying the power of god is already touching people thank you lord jesus whether inside outside all of those people by the spirit of grace let's have them out very quickly 
if the ushers are limited please pr or any other department do help them so that we'll, we'll make this fast and we make this snappy in the name of jesus christ bring them out you are the covenant keeping god you are the covenant keeping god yahweh hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit tormenting spirits this is what god wants to take spirits that torment people whether in dreams or visions whether as afflictions or infirmities i want to declare right now please i want you to bring them out in the name that is above all names i decree and declare anyone here who is a victim of tormenting spirits that torment you day and night medically that torment you spiritually at the count of three let that fire fall right now at the count of three i want you to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered from the influence of tormenting spirits please whether you are an usher or not be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now from the influence of tormenting spirits be free now the power of god is still coming upon people right now the power of god help them please the power of god is still coming upon people be delivered now in the name of jesus christ satan get lost let god's people go now in the name of jesus now i'm about to pray i'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as i pray fire will begin to fall on a few people father i decree and declare everyone who has been bound by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout jesus be released now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released please bring them out i decree and declare i prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirit help them please every devil of stagnation every spirit tying you down leave now someone open your mouth and declare i'm moving forward Go ahead, open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, I am making advancement in life and destiny. Every devil in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I'm still praying you hear about good things but your hand never handles it you keep hearing that good things are to happen and yet you are never able to take possession I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus anyone who is a victim of this 
that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of god is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a paris qatar for those patterns i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now there is a lady you are from Edo state there is a spirit that has tormented your entire family i will not let you go free right now help her the power of god is coming upon you from Edo state i'm seeing the anointing even coming on people not just one person many people Parigetes Kalikatoshiata, Edo State, be delivered now. Bring them out. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Alegates Kadebranda Kaparusiata, Embratos Kaligri Sebida Katushiata La Parandosia. The Lord is ministering to me. There's someone here every time your time of promotion comes you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it i don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out it's not just for show i decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of god is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of jesus these ladies bring them out i break that chain from that family i break that chain from that family I release that family right now. 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 Please, whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing, please help to bring them. You don't have to wait for the ushers. There might be too much for them to do. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. The season where demonic holds over your life is breaking i'm hearing the name jennifer in the name of jesus i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now jennifer i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold what's her name hold on please don't take it easy my dear where are you coming from Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I cast that spirit now. Be delivered completely in the name of Jesus. For every other person in the name of Jesus. This lady holding her stomach. Something is leaving your stomach. I cast that spirit out of her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release her destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My goodness. God is setting people free. I am seeing God take things out of people's stomachs. Like, I don't know, like growth or whatever. I declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth. Right now, fire from heaven is coming upon you. That devil dissolves now. That devil dissolves now. I'm hearing a name Israel Israel and the Lord is speaking to me that this gentleman it is time for God to use you to visit your family this is what God is telling me who is Israel what do you do my friend yes, sir. Huh? I'm an architect you are an architect yes, sir. do you believe if I tell you God is going to use you yes, sir. as a deliverer in your family yes, sir. my goodness father in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to every israel here what he says to one he says to all by the power that raised christ from the dead i release that grace upon all of you 
take that grace right now in the name of Jesus the Lord will use you to set your family free in the name of Jesus Christ hear me there is someone I want to pray for you don't have to come out but the power of God is visiting people do you know that death is a spirit d-e-b-t not death death borrowing there, there are people who are addicted to it like drugs it's not that you are bad this thing is a pattern you have seen it God wants to break it in families I don't know where that family is but right now the spirit that has tied people financially working and living in debt be delivered now be delivered now there is a gentleman here you came from one of the northern states the hand of God is upon your life and he's going to use you mightily I don't know where that gentleman is but the anointing is of the spirit is coming upon him right now you you came from the north your ministry is right there in the name of Jesus Christ God is going to use you like a like like a, a tree that just springs out a store from nowhere it's a mighty anointing you will sweep across your city with the fire of revival I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now there are three people up the balcony the power of God is coming upon them the Lord is saying it has come to an end I don't know what it is but that's what I hear it has come to an end it has come to an end I decree and declare wherever you are help them please across the balcony the power of God is touching you it has come to an end in the name of Jesus please don't just pick them and take them back ushers you should know better please let me do my prayer for them there's a reason why I ask them to come please return that lady who is going back please it's not about bringing them out to show a man of God is powerful no please don't just pick them when they think there is a reason why we ask them to come out they don't have to come out but when God instructs then it's important otherwise you will just take them back to their various bondages for all those who are out here in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every spirit that has tormented you right now for all of you I declare at the count of three let them go release their destinies one two three go 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 out of them now out of them now out of their lives now in the name of Jesus everything that has been stolen let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as I pray for them I pray for you everything that has been stolen in the name of Jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus The Lord is still showing me a family. Your father is a pastor, but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family. A sincere man of God who loves God, but poverty, failure, shame. This is what has characterized this family. I don't know who that person is. You are a lady in the name of Jesus. Is there someone like that? Please make sure you verify. Let's not just have people coming out carelessly. Your father is a pastor. I want to pray. The devil is a liar. Just put them. They can stand one place anywhere there. I want to pray for them. You see, look at this. You can imagine this kind of demonic mockery. A man who is, who is spending his life serving the Lord. And then the devil will want that nothing works in his life. You see. So it can discourage members. It can discourage people they can say if you are a man of God why are these things not working for you but in the name of Jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight I'm praying for you there are so many of you so I will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family 
right now i stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire i decree and declare those altars are set ablaze i release your parents i release your loved ones i release your parents i release your families have them please every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now i not only pray for them i pray for you in the name of jesus every altar that sponsors hatred that sponsors trouble that sponsors limitation by the power that raised christ from the dead it is destroyed now You don't have to come out but i want to pray for you there is someone here your father has a case with efcc and if we don't pray for you with what i'm seeing they are going to jail him i don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of jesus i don't i'm not a, 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 a government worker i don't know how it works there but for god to have revealed it we declare mercy right now yeah. agree with me we declare mercy right now yeah. in the name of jesus yeah. who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of jesus christ please receive this prayer i decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them, I overturn them. I overturn them. help them please i overturn them in the name of jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours Whether in the office, whether in politics, I say it again. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy in the name of Jesus because with what the Lord is showing me right now, I'm seeing a lot of financial distress. It's still on that tone. They are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for the sake of the mercy of God and for the sake of those who fear God in that bank, both workers and customers, may God preserve it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica, who is Jessica? Jessica, this is what I'm hearing. Who is Jessica? Where are you coming from? I don't state. Come and stand here, please. Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. What do you do, madam? Don't be embarrassed. Not Nothing. I want to pray for you. Let me pray for you. Where is your husband? He's outside. He lost his job. Yes. When? Yes. 2017. And from that time, he's not gotten a job again. The one he got, he has been managing it. He's nothing to write home about. From the when he is he here? Yes, because of there's no space. He's 
of course, I understand. Outside. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to come. Husband, wherever you are, you are seeing your wife on camera. Just stand by faith. If we say he should come now, we may waste time. Do you believe God can visit him? Yes. Madam, what do you do? I'm a businesswoman. I want to pray for you. I believe in miracles, so I truly believe. Hallelujah. Jessica. Your name is not Jessica. Oh. Brother's wife. Huh? Your brother's wife. You're standing in. Okay. Please don't come out to stand in for anybody. If it's not you, just be patient by faith. Believe wherever you are. Don't worry. I'll pray for you since you're here. Madam, in the name of Jesus, please, why are they here? Are you Jessica? Your name, the name your parents gave you. Okay, so you can stand here. So that we'll save time because we, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every planting of darkness. I use these ones in front as a point of contact. Ah, I'm praying for these people, but I'm seeing a lady here. There is a, a ring that is demonic. This is not physical on your hand, but this is demonic. This thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Help them. Help them. This is what I'm seeing. I just saw a ring flashing at me and the lord is saying until that is taken care of it looks like nothing can i'm praying i do, what he says to why are you coming out my dear listen to what i'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just just let them be let them come in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit every demonic thing any kind of satanic engagement that anyone here if there is any strange marriage aha uh -huh, that is not of god any demonic every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit help that woman in the name of jesus i call upon the lamb upon the throne we dissociate that demonic marriage now we dissociate that demonic marriage now please help them my god we dissociate that demonic marriage now. Strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep, molesting you and spying upon your liberty. Right now I stretch my hands. Anyone here who is a victim of those things, be delivered now. And for all of the Jessicas who God called out here, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family, I hereby release you now. I hereby release you now. That mockery and that shame over your life, I release you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, for some of you between now and the end of august the way god will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it i declare it in the name of jesus christ god bless you god bless you thank you there there is um i don't know if i should ask them to come out now but i am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction there is a grace those who are construction building there is a grace in the name of jesus i don't know who is into that whether your business or you work with a firm there is the grace there and i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god father upon all these ones i declare may your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what God will do within one month will surprise you. Many of you will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I want us to pray. 
I'm seeing an attack in a particular mall. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cancel it now. Don't misunderstand me. I don't promote negative prophecies. It is because we are a family of faith here. There are many things that I see that I just pray on. Sometimes God allows us to release these things to edify the body. Remember, dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen. Dominion is, the, is God revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of Jesus to stop it. Are we together now? The joy is not negative things coming to happen. There are only few things in the Bible that are called written judgments. That means many things, many evils can be stopped. There are few that are called written judgments. For instance, the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with Christ. There's nothing you can do about that. Once a man dies outside of Christ, you cannot pray and say, let the person repent wherever. No, it's not. We don't see any expression of that in the Bible. Are we together? The destruction of Satan. Nobody can fast and pray for satan to be saved no the judgment of satan is a written judgment but there are many evils that it is within the power of the saints to stop hallelujah since god has brought this issue is it possible for us to hold hands in one minute and neutralize spiritually every demonic plot over the fct do you believe that in one minute let's open our mouth and pray in the name that is above all names we are praying for the FCT, we are praying for Nigeria, all the six geopolitical zones. We are praying, extending our prayers to Africa, but particularly for Nigeria. Go ahead and pray. We pray for Abuja, the FCT. Then we pray for the north, we pray for the south, we pray for the east and we pray for the west. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, we agree as a spiritual family. Oh God arise and let everything that is antichrist be scattered over our nation. We decree and declare and we prophesy safety above and beyond the coordinated efforts of the military, the police, DSS, civil defense. We declare let there be angelic activities. Let the forces of judgment be released for the sake of the saints. Somebody is praying. Call the name of any area in Abuja you know and prophesy safety upon it. We declare safety, safety. All the six local governments that make up this state, we declare safety. Extend that word of safety to the neighboring environment. Nasarawa State, Niger State, Kaduna State, Plateau State, Benue State, Kogi State. We decree and declare safety by the power of the holy spirit we extend this word of safety across the six geopolitical zones in this nation father arise let the spirits that make for bloodshed kidnapping maiming killing destructions of lives and properties they come under judgment in the name of jesus christ They come on that judgment. Somebody is praying. The facilities within the FCT, we declare safety. Public, private facilities. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please listen to me. I don't even know if we'll have the time again to call those who have been healed. But let me just give you a word of hope and comfort. Please hear me. Do not fear. Prophesy to yourself. Say myself. In the name of Jesus, I reject fear. One more time. Say it. Say I reject fear. Hold on. Let me tell you, by the privilege of where I come from and where we started ministry, I've had the, I don't know what to call it now. I have, I have been part of many crises and I've seen many uprisings. There is one thing I can tell you fear has never helped in any situation i know that because of what is happening across the fct there is fear i know that there is a call for greater vigilance there is a call for greater sensitivity both spiritually and security wise but can i tell you 
I challenge every father and every priest here, you have a responsibility to plant the spirit of faith. We are not going to paralyze our lives and activities just because of the activity of evil. Rather, we would pray that God himself will empower the military and all those who are working day and night to see to our safety and to pray that the ministry of angels and the forces of judgment be released in their full in the full force over these evil people yeah. are we together but let me challenge you there is one thing i know that empowers evil fear 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 do not put yourself in a position just because you are hearing of wars and rumors of wars now i do not downplay the fact that it is not a nice thing to see people come and maim and kill and rape and do all kinds of demonic things but living in fear will destroy you time will go you will not achieve your goals you will be poor you will be broke you will go down it's a pain to know that our schools are having to shut down because of this vested interest and evil people wherever they are may god judge them both the one who steals and the one who helps those who steal they are all thieves do you agree so when we are saying the forces of judgment be released it's not just to be released on those who directly do evil the entire central system the network of evil may fire from heaven fall upon them but as for you in the name of jesus i place a mark upon you by reason of being grafted to Christ and by the privilege of being in this part of this spiritual family in the name of Jesus you will not die Amen. the Lord God himself will prohibit you Amen. from going to and being around anywhere where there will be destruction Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. now I want you right where you are open your mouth and please begin to pray in the spirit as we have the request come wherever you are begin to pray in the spirit begin to pray in the spirit please you are enforcing everything that has been spoken outside are you praying all of the overflows begin to pray begin to pray in the spirit if you are yet to submit your prayer request can you wave it someone will quickly pick it and then it will be brought here very quickly go ahead and pray Though I walk through the valley, love, I'll fear no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust in you. One more time. Though I walk through the valleys, I'll fear no evil. I go under still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust, trust in you. Hallelujah. Please prophetically may I request that you stretch your hands towards me and begin to pray and declare over this request as I bow my knees before the father of glory agreeing for answers to these prayers answers to this request I'd like you to declare that these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever someone pray this is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead every request here is turned to a harvest of testimonies every long-standing issue represented here may this be the season for speedy answers every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here in the name of jesus we command that that spirit loses his hold now and every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life we compel the ministry of those men in the name of jesus christ i prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of jesus he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev i decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around in the matchless name of jesus now i made a commitment a personal commitment to see that we end tonight by nine because of the situation and so because of that we may have to suspend every other thing i'll just speak over your life for the next one or two minutes it's already two past nine my apologies for all those who would have wanted to come for testimonies what i will request that you do is next week um you can just write your testimonies and we'll take it let me speak over your life finally and then we're done hallelujah in the name of jesus christ this is the last day of this month tomorrow becomes august i decree and declare august is the ninth month everything you have been carrying this is the month to give birth to it shame and reproach over your life comes to an end now if there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life and not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually in the name of jesus christ be restored be restored be restored be restored by the power of the holy spirit hear me everything that has left heaven but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life by the power that raised christ from the dead i stand as a prophetic midwife and i push it to find manifestation in your life in the name of jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in jesus name you shall not be in want in jesus name i decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected no evil will see you in the name of jesus christ for those who are trusting god for manifestations of financial favor i release my faith and i agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that this week god will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you god will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for you the mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you you are blessed in the name of jesus christ